Hello and welcome back to the Early Access Menelaus campaign. Here we are, still on turn one, because of course the first episode I took ages to just explain everything that's new and that's been changed. And we did one battle, but now it's actually time to play the game a little bit more and perhaps talk a little bit less about all the things that have changed in the game. So, first of all, uh, we got a couple of resources from doing that battle, but not enough to really do anything. I could recruit a couple of units though, so I think that's what we're going to be going to do. Um, so yeah, we currently have four units that we can uh, recruit ourselves. Uh, a couple of these are coming from the basic building. So currently uh, we get the uh, Laconian Militia and the Achaean, 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 oh God, Slingers from uh, the uh, Spartan Walled City building. Uh, and then basically we get the Laconian Militia from any normal building. So we'll always be able to recruit Militia anywhere, essentially. Um, and of course we have the Spearmen and the Laconian Axemen that we're getting from uh, Musterfield. So, um, out of those four units, I don't think I really want to recruit Laconian Militia. The, the nice thing about the food feature, I think, is that, for example, these two guys, uh, this one obviously is a lot better, costs the same upkeep, uh, because it's food. So you're paying essentially for the man, uh, like the manpower. So they have 180 men. This is uh, extreme unit size, by the way, so they took this from 3k. There's no, like, there's now extreme, which is higher than ultra, which again, 3k already had as well. Um, and yeah, we're paying for the actual manpower, like the, the, the amount of men that are there. We're not paying them uh, anything beyond that. So yeah, these guys cost the same. These guys only cost five more. Of course, when we have supply lines coming in, we build more armies. Things like this are going to uh, exponentially grow. But for now, it's not too bad. So yeah, I think we're just going to get a bunch of spearmen. Spearmen are obviously really solid. Like I said already, they usually get a bonus against certain units. Uh, this one only has a bonus. Well, yeah, here you go. Bonus for swordsman and bonus for axemen uh, of five. So their damage is just better against those units. So Spearmen are just a really, really solid unit, especially in the early game. Uh, and then we probably want some Laconian Axemen for flanking and things like that, because obviously they're a bit more vulnerable with no shield, uh, but they have high damage, especially armor piercing, because they are an axe unit. But yeah, I think Spearmen are going to be ruling uh, this game, but again, it's very early to sell. I've only played like a, a 10 or 11 hours of this so far. Anyway, um, so yeah, I want to get a bunch of these. I'm also going to just remove my Laconian Militia, I think, because I don't want to be... Paying up to you for units I'm not going to be using anymore, so let's just remove them. There's no real battle we're, we're going to be uh, jumping into anytime soon, so it should be totally okay. Uh, Cyphera is the town over here, another faction we are currently at war with, so they're going to be our next target. Uh, but yeah, we keep our light spear runners, we keep these for units because I do want to be using those. Uh, the slingers also only cost 85 food because there's less uh, people in there, which is great. Um, Cool, so yeah, I think that's going to be that. I, I mean, I could technically not pay for anything yet and keep more food income so I can recruit more or more quickly later on. I think that's not even a bad idea, to be honest. I think actually, well, especially because i got movement remaining, I should start running towards Etis or Etis, probably Etis, no idea. I could, I mean, honestly, I could just say anything and it'll sound correct or maybe not. Um, anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll leave that for now. Uh, we're not going to build anything. Like I said, I've already built up or used up all my wood, really. So yeah, there's not really much to build. So... End turn? Is there anything I haven't shown you guys last time? I showed you all of those. I didn't show you this, but that's just the objective screen, same as the when you start a campaign. We got our records and stuff here, but nothing special to show you there. Uh, and the rest is just, you know, showing our heroes or provinces, etc. So it's not super helpful. And we have one mission to have main, uh, maintain 12 units in total. You also got the notifications down here, which shows you which, like, you have still buildings uh, that are able to be built. Um, but it doesn't, like, stop you from ending turn. Which I think is okay. Some people are complaining they want more notifications, but I feel like you should just, you know, pay more attention. If you're playing a Total War game, you, you, you want to play well, then you have to remember things. You need a good memory. You need to issue a royal decree, which is our tech tree, essentially. Which is already something we're working on, so I don't need to do anything for that right now. And we need to maintain or control one province. Uh, maintain control of one province, either by direct ownership or through fast and allies. And once we take uh, Cyphera, that's going to be totally fine. Some wars were declared between factions I've never heard of, so that's fine. And we built a farming village, so our food... Oh my god, our food is linked. Isn't that just, you know, absolutely phenomenal? Uh, I'd like to build that, but I haven't got enough wood for that. I can only build this. Can I build something special? There's a this is another, another known feature or no feature a known bug, I guess, is that sometimes if you hover over certain buildings, it just starts lagging a little bit. Um, but I've reported this, and hopefully it'll get fixed. So uh, this is a stone uh, resource or like pro town, and this is a food town, and food is a lot more important than stone right now. So I'm going to build this one. 
which gives us uh, 60 food per turn normally and 80 uh, extra from high influence. So we get 140 from this uh, right now, which is great because, of course, we are getting our influence. I think it shows you somewhere or tells you somewhere um, like what you need for high influence, but I can't remember where, but I know it's 60%, which is what I said last time, so it's all good. Let me run you guys over towards Etis, and then I think I will go ahead and start recruiting now. Um, maybe we'll start We'll start by getting the Slingers, because they're obviously uh, less food upkeep, so we don't have, we're not gonna be paying as much for them. Uh, and then we definitely wanna get to 12 to 15 units, because there are there's a decent army in there. I can't remember how many units I actually recruited when I played this first. We can also, if we wanted to really, and of course, get recruitment done quickly, we could get some units from our call to arms, but we're, we don't really want to because we pay double the price. So this is 550 uh, for a spearman, that one's 1,059 uh, for the same unit. So we pay a lot more. The upkeep's, of course, the same, and it takes two turns to recruit as well. So we, don't, we have no real need for those right now, so we're just going to skip straight past those. We've uh, used all of our boots, so yeah, just continue onwards again. First couple turns, of course, normally go quite fast, except when you're... You know, explaining a bazillion things. We gotta build a building and upgrade a settlement building. I believe we may... Well, we're building a building already, so that's not a problem. And for this, we just need more resources, so... I could either wait. I could build the stone. I'm not too fussed about stone. I could... I'd rather possibly just wait and actually just upgrade this next turn. Uh, although, how much does this cost? So that's 700. We have 800. So next turn, we'll have 800 again. Which means I won't be able to... Um... I won't be able to upgrade a town, so I think I might just hold on to my food for now. Uh, I think we'll go for... We'll get a couple more sp uh, slingers. I'm not a huge fan, like I said last time, I'm not a huge fan of slingers. I feel like they're not particularly great. I do want a lot of spearmen. I guess our income is still pretty solid, so you know what, let's do two and one. Let's get one more slinger. Maybe maybe get one. Yeah, let's get, I'll get six slingers. Fuck it. Let's go crazy, why not? Um... And then again, I'm going to keep my wood so I can upgrade a town. I might be able to upgrade that one, except now we're going to be short on stone. Plus, I want to upgrade this first anyway, because I want to get my food up. Food is just super important. If I had wood available, I'd go for wood, but I don't. So, I won't. It's as simple as that. There's uh, Akis right here. Uh, who is, I'm sure, a faction somewhere near to us. Um, we built a building, we got a bunch more wood. Actually, it turns out... How much was this? Yeah, okay, I, I could have built... I could have built that after all, because I can still afford this right now. Well, in that case, I could build both of them right now. Fair enough. That's okay, too. So, yeah, this is, uh... The faction Akis, who, um... Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, I could have sworn that would work. Jump into diplomacy with them. I kind of want to see who they are. Oh, maybe I... Okay, I technically haven't met them yet, I guess, so I, I don't know. What if I move, like, two feet? Does that trigger the meeting with people, these people? No idea. We've got yes. plenty to discuss. There you go. Um, so we can get non-aggression military access to them. Uh, but I'm I'm not interested. I just wanted to see who they were. Uh, they are at war the same faction as us, so they, they might be trying to take this, but... Look, if you take that, I'll just take it from you. I don't, I don't see the problem, so... Let's get us a bunch of spearmen now. I definitely need to start building up some infantry, because I think I want to do one more turn of getting infantry. So we'll... Well, let's do two then, and then let's do three more. Uh, wait, no, because I want to get some axes as well. So if I get three of these guys right now, then we'll have four of them as our infantry line, and then I guess I can get... No, I can get one more and then one more of those, so I have one axe on either side. Okay, yeah, we have, we have a lot of slingers in comparison to our actual infantry, but that's okay. So, will I be able to afford three more units next turn? Um, oh god, it's gonna be close, actually, but uh, we'll figure it out. I can always do it one less unit, that's fine. Okay, uh, sounds good. We have nothing to build, we don't really have anything else to do. We could go into diplomacy, but I don't think there's really much we can do. One thing I can actually do is you know, uh, colonize these, these colonies, uh, which costs a bunch of wood. We have the rest of the resources already, so we could easily do that right now. That's actually a wood town as well, so be not a bad idea. I did do this when I played myself. I actually took those towns through colonization. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it, like, this early, but they might still be there in a couple of turns when we have more resources to spend on things like that. So we'll wait for that. All right, they're returning home. I guess, the oh, did they just turn enemy? 
What the hell was that? They turned red, but I don't think they're actually mad at me. Right, we got some more food that's hopefully going to allow us to recruit whatever I need to recruit, so... I think we're going to be okay. King Our actual Mandela. income in food is getting uh, quite low right now, so we want one of those at least. And I guess I want... Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get one more of those. And we'll have six spearmen, two Laconian axemen, one light spear runners, and six slingers. Sounds like a beautiful thing to me. Let's do that, and then we'll attack Cythera next turn, or Cythera, I... God knows. Uh, we got a little bit of wood. Can I really build anything for that? I don't think there's anything I want to build right now for this. Uh, I think the, mo the main thing I want to build is military buildings. Or, well, town upgrades probably more likely, to be honest. So I think we're going to do that. I could upgrade this, but I'm not that fussed about increasing growth right now. Um, we're on 90 growth, so increasing it by 20. Eh, it's, I mean, it's alright, but it's not really that huge. I think I'm going to leave that... Right, so, next turn, we're going to start heading south towards that town, and hopefully take it without too much trouble. Um, again, ma minor towns don't have walls, generally, which is great. There's our reward for upgrading a settlement building, and all the other stuff we've done as well. Fantastic. Right, so now we could upgrade this to get more food, which we do need. Our food is pretty low, but let's first of all head down this way uh, and see what's going on here. All right, so there's nine units in there plus the garrison, which is going to be consisting of eight. So they've got 17 units. They actually have more than I do, and they're, they're they might even be higher tier units than I have as well. So this could be a tough one. And he apparently, oh, he's, yeah, he's mustering. So he's actually recruiting more units as well. Well, we'll have to just deal with it, I think. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Right, so we can upgrade that, or we can upgrade this town, which is not bad, but I don't necessarily need more food or uh, wood right now. Oh, right, this port still hasn't even been fixed, so let's go, definitely go ahead and do that first, actually. Uh, and that still leaves me with quite a bit of wood, because we got some rewards, so I could either build something I don't want to build here, or I can now colonize one of these towns. So, we have Eos and Melos. So, Melos is a main town. Um, which is closer by, but Eos over here is wood, and I do like me some wood, so I think I'm going to colonize Eos instead. There you go. Darcy blows. So yeah, these are both ruins, so I have to fix them up myself, but that's okay. Uh, once we do, we are going to get some more wood per turn, which is going to be very helpful. So, that is that. Let's see how many units he recruits. So I really hope it's not a, a huge amount. A man who knows the value of family can be trusted. Diomedes wants to trade. Uh, he wants a military access. He's willing to pay me 20 free wood. Wow. That is so kind. No thanks. I'm good. I'll do without your 20 free wood. Okay, he recruited one unit, so he's going to be on 18 units against my 16. I have a mission to start a unit, uh, turn with 20 units in a single army. Oh, uh, sorry, that one. And we built the boat stands. Good. Sorry, yeah. Our food is only 466, but it's, it's okay. Definitely want to fix this town first, I think. Can't do that yet because it's too expensive. We really haven't got much left after that, so I doubt I can do much else. There's always like these buildings are quite cheap, but I want to wait until I can build that one, so I can't really do anything that I would want to do. So let's Historic besiege this town here to stop him from mustering at the very least. Um, I think we may even go in right away. Oof, that's a lot of spearmen as well. They do have some young spears, which is good because they have no shield. Um, they are still pretty decent units, but our slingers will have an easy time killing them. There's no range units in here, which is actually quite good for us. Um, they've got two slingers, one skirmisher, so yeah, we are massively outnumbered in melee, but we have a pretty big advantage in range, so I'm hoping that if I attack him, he's gonna sit back, because this is a town battle, and again, there's no walls, but they do have defensive positions, and there's no towers or anything, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but if he just sits there, we can just use our range to just whittle them down a little bit and just at least kill off some of these units, that one perhaps, and then, you know, make it more of an even playing field. They do have two generals as well, uh, a fighter ravager and a fighter champion, uh, which of course is rough. They also have some extra morale from a positive motivation, so motivation is something that will, uh, I guess I can explain while we're loading in. Um, motivation is kind of like, I guess, loyalty in, in Warhammer 2. It's been so long since I played that. Was that even only for the Dark Elves? I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, basically, generals uh, gets... It, it depend, Every general is completely different. So one general might get, I don't know, extra motivation from reinforcing or being reinforced and loses motivation from not being reinforced. Or someone might gain motivation from uh, being 
in raiding stance at the end of a turn, and one might he might gain from uh, I don't know from uh, occupying a town, and one might, another one might gain from looting a town or something like that. There's there's loads of ways to gain or lose motivation, and then motivation gives you uh, buffs depending on how high it is. Uh, so yeah, that's another little thing. Uh, but I don't think that if you get to zero, I'm pretty sure at zero motivation, they just, you just don't get any buffs. There's no like negative thing like this army will desert you or whatever. It just doesn't get any buffs. This is an interesting little setup here. We can't actually go through here. Also, the maps in this game are phenomenal. I um, I had an ambush battle the other day, which I might even show a screenshot if I remember. But yeah, it was the map of that was fantastic. I might even use that screenshot as a uh, a, ba a background for one of my thumbnails, but anyway, uh, let's just let's kind of go set up in two different positions here. Maybe keep an axeman or something on the flanks. Not really, really a ton of room for flanking here on this map. But yeah, there's a lot of different maps as well, which is fantastic. So let's keep um, let's keep an axeman here, and I'll keep an axeman on the other side just in case I can do some flanking. But I very much doubt that I will. And then we'll have our. Uh, light spear runners in the center together with a couple other units here and our three other spears can guard these boys and then we'll keep uh, Menelaus himself in the middle as well okay sounds bueno I'm gonna actually put one of the slingers over here as well okay so hopefully they'll sit back if they don't we may have a bit of a problem here if they start charging out which can happen if they just want to they can just do that right Cool. Looks like they're going to sit back. For now. They, they could also st start charging out halfway through a battle. They do have all their spearmen at the front, which isn't great, because of course they have shields, so we're going to be uh, doing very little damage to them if we start slinging at them. Having said that, I'll probably still do it anyway. I don't know if there's any other easy targets around anywhere. Like, this militia unit has shields as well. So they have 10 armor, but 40% missile resistance. The same goes for these guys. If it's a smaller shield, which I don't know if there's any units here with smaller shields, it'll be for like 30% or something. Uh, but yeah, these are all 40% resistance, so... Kind of rough. Um, yeah, right. Well, let's just... I can still start shooting at them. We have quite a bit of ammo, so... 38 ammo. The damage is low. The range is kind of... Actually, the range is pretty good. Um, yeah, just just do whatever damage we can do, right? There's, there's no real downside to it, so... Let's do what we can. I'll move up the rest of the army, too, to make sure if they do come charging towards me, we have some protection. But yeah, I think uh, there's there's definitely, yeah, there's two young spears there. I'd love to be able to shoot at them, but I'd have to move up pretty close to be able to do so. And I would be moving into range of their slingers, which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid here, so. Let's not. Um, let's actually move two units over here. There's more stuff to shoot at over there, and then you can just kind of shoot at these guys. All willy-nilly like. Uh, and then, yeah, again, we'll move up these boys as well. And over here, you should be... No, you're not in range yet. It's okay. Is there anything here? Not really. Alright, well, let's just get up and start shooting. Again, they might sally out at some point, which at this point especially is going to be problematic, I think. But you are still not in range. What the hell's going on here? Am I really that bad at getting ranges correctly? Okay, you guys are firing now. Uh, another thing worth mentioning is Arrow Trails is actually an option for it. So it's just a slider from 0% to 100%. I've got mine on 20%, I think. Maybe 25 So this is what arrows or uh, projectiles look like on 20 or 25%. Um, obviously, the higher you put them, the more visible they'll be. But we all know... We all have our preferences on... on uh, what you call them on the uh, projectiles in Total War games and recent games? I think everyone agrees that in Shogun 2 they look the best, but also the health system, of course, is back. Uh, you know, it's in, it's in 3K as well. I think it's done better in 3K than in Warhammer, personally, um, because you know, in this situation here, we you can see how much health we've already done to them, but no one's dead yet in uh, 3K. That wouldn't happen, even though they've got a health system as well. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to be wasting a lot of ammo here, but honestly, even if I get to kill other spearmen, that still, you know, gives me a bunch of spearmen, whereas they won't, or at least they'll have a lot less, and spearmen is the best unit on the field here, besides my light spear runners and, of course, the generals themselves. Um, young spears are not a terrible unit. They are actually fairly good, it's just that they have no shield, so I'd really like to use my ammo against them, because obviously I'll be able to kill them a lot easier. They have 10 armor and no shield, so they are easily killed with range, but if they hide in the back, there's very little I can do about that. For now, though, let's dwindle down these units as much as I can. I could, you know, 
I could just run in with my infantry and then... God, I really am wasting a lot of ammo here, because, I mean, I've used a third of my ammo here, and this unit's not, you know, anywhere near a third of its health. So I'm really not doing that much. Um, but we have brought it down to half health, so you know what? Let's start hitting a different unit here. I'd really like to hit those those young spears. Like, if we start shooting at them for a minute, they'll go down so quickly. But there's a slinger right next to them, so that's kind of problematic. And there's no young spears here, so there's nothing I can do there. They're all over here. What's that? Nothing. Just someone randomly figured it was a good time to horn it up. Those horn boys. What the hell is that guy doing? I guess he, that's a death animation, I'm assuming. Oh, seriously? Those little bastards. I got into range and they didn't move away. Um, I mean, that slinger unit is running away as well. I could, oh god, I could try it. I don't think I'll even be able to get in, in range, though, of this unit. I'd have to get up, like, right here. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm risking a lot here. At least that champion has taken a little bit of damage as well so far. Again, I mean, oh god, okay, I got too close. Run. Fly, you fools. Actually, this could work out. If they actually keep charging after me, we're gonna be able to kill them off. Let's actually just charge in there. Take this opportunity. Oh my god, can I click the right? Take this opportunity to kill off a unit here so I can ha have something easier to fire at. You guys are on a third ammo. Yeah, you've done your job, I guess. It's okay. I mean, the kills are gonna be low. Looking at them on the left there. 74 actually on one of them. Oh, they ran back. You a little bit. Ah, oh, I should have I shot them while they were running back. Quickly. Fire away. Alright, well that unit's almost dead. I think we just get into melee with that. It'll die pretty rapidly. But we are basically... Gonna... Oh, here we go. Young Spears. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo here though. Should be able to do a decent bit of damage to them still. Let's run you over here. Because there's not really much else to fire here anyway. Oh, oh where are you going, boys? Okay, that's fine. There's Young Spears running up there as well. They might actually run all the way over here. Give me an opportunity to fire at them. No. But I might be able to do so from here, to be honest. I'm really... I'm min-maxing this, but this is a tough battle, honestly. Okay, you can see... We've fired a couple of volleys at this unit, and we've already done like a significant amount of damage to them, compared to how many volleys would have fire on the Spearmen to do the same thing. Oh, they're coming again? Well, this time I'm prepared. Move these guys all up anyway, because we're going to be going in pretty soon here. Advance, man. One of your units has no more ammunition. All right, there goes number one. Uh, there you are, one on the left. Let's just run you guys back, but not too far. I could always use them for flanking. Uh, and then you can use your final bit of ammo on those young spears as well. So young, so much life yet to live. Let's get Menelaus up as well. Again, we got two generals to kill, or to deal with, so... Oh, they got slingers in there. You know what? If they've got slingers right up there, this might be the perfect opportunity to get close. So let's start going in. We could probably beat them as well now, but this is... Well, actually, yeah, let's move up there. about to be out of ammo. I gotta remember, I don't want to use my Axemen, because those guys have bonus versus Axes, so they will just ruin me. So we don't... We really don't want that. These guys also have a terrible charge bonus. The charging it doesn't really do a whole lot, but we got to get in there somehow. All right, right at one unit, which is great. Uh, we are still firing here. Yeah, that's that's a lot more damage. That that's uh, definitely what I wanted to see here. I also have no good units to deal with the stuff here, but I think I'm just going to leave them here just to distract two and all of units there. That's still pretty useful. Uh, and here is where. Kind of bug out the game a little bit because of the way. Oh god, okay, they're charging. Let's just charge in. Kind of weird formation, but I could just run through them because th th again, this is not supposed to happen. This is going to be fixed. Uh, this is being fixed One right now. In fact, has no more but yeah, you can just kind of move through and then just attack them, and then you, all of a sudden you're attacking with all of your units, and you'll destroy. And they're flanking and everything. But yeah, when the game comes out, that isn't going to be possible anymore because it's not supposed to be right now. Uh, apparently, it isn't really even working like that on lower difficulties. All right, let's try and get in with the rest of the units as well. There's some young spears One right of there. your units has no more ammunition. All right, we've still got a little bit of ammo on these two boys over here. Okay, you guys have gone through. Let's try and get in there. Uh, and I think I'm going to send the axes through as well, because there's not as many spear units over here anymore. 
There's also, I mean, that unit as well, it routed and it ran straight through my units. That happens all the time too. It's, again, not really supposed to happen like that. Uh, Manalea, she might want to join in because this guy needs a whooping, I believe. I'm going to keep my slingers nearby so I can run them in if I need to. Yeah, I'm, it seems I'm distracting quite a few units around here, but just, you know, technically only one unit because they're not really supposed to be in melee anyway, so... So yeah, I think we're actually going to use our slingers to kill off units that are routing. This is really the fastest you can run we're doing. I've got places to be, boys. We can just use them for morale support as well, just keeping them nearby our units, I guess. Alright, let's have one of these guys chase them. How is that unit not routed yet? Is under but again, attack. you can see I'm running straight for this unit. There's only a 16 of them, but even so, if it's a full unit, you can run through them like that as well, and it's just not supposed to happen like that. But, again, being worked on, so no need to worry. Now, uh, I can't do that, actually. Let's, um, let's see if our, we get, let's get our Rage up and then use Dread of Ares there. Okay, are they all running away? Because then it's time for get our Axes over. we got to be careful, because, again, Axes versus that Spearman, they will loot. Well, actually, they, they've got an advantage against them, but I, don't, I still don't like that, because we take more damage than we need to. So we still want to be careful. You've routed, actually completely shattered them, so let's go that way. I would like, actually, no, let's get in the back of these units here. Get our axes and all of this stuff here. That unit's routing. I think we're going to try and just flank around this little bit here and try and get inside the militia, which is a pretty meh unit. Still uh, pretty even on the battle bar, though, so. Alright, well, I'll take 93 of them. It's not going to be great, but I actually kind of want to see this charge, I'm sure. A lot of people always ask me for zoomed-in stuff, so... Let's do a little bit of zooming. Of course, there's no blood yet. Oh, it's going to be sold as DLC, I'm sure. But, uh, so be it. I'm not going to be talking about that. I also should say, before anyone asks, I currently have no information about the... Um, oh god, this is not a good battle, is it? I have no information about the Amazon's DLC. We don't know anything about it other than it's, you know, pre-order DLC slash day one DLC. Uh, although, of course, the game is free for 24 hours on the first day, so, you know. One of your units that. has no more ammunition. No more ammunition, you say? Spears. Let's try and run one for, unit through and just get the back of this unit. Overall, we're doing fine, but yeah, this unit over here, I'm guessing, yeah. It's surrounded by four spearmen, which isn't really exactly what I want. And this situation here, I guess this is fine. There's just slingers and stuff around there. Their general is taking quite a bit of, of a beating. Oh yeah, I totally have this ability for ages. Let's just do this to you. Without remorse. So that's going to reduce their morale and stamina. Uh, UI, of course, I haven't talked about this because, again, I talked about this in the battle build, but um, you can see basically everything you need on screen. So the green bar is their health, the yellow, uh, white bar is their uh, morale, and the green... The, wow, I can't see colors anymore. The blue bar is their stamina, so you can see if they're tired or not. Let's get you guys inside here. I might need to help. This unit might just be doomed. I could try and run it away, but it's holding back four units by itself right now, which is probably not such a bad idea, to be honest. Just kind of wish we oh, yeah, we're getting properly slaughtered here. Let's try and chase them. Those uh, skirmishes especially are going to be absolutely Your warriors massacring me are losing heart. My warriors are worrying. Okay, let's try and get you guys over there, and I'll have this unit try and wipe this stuff out. Still got a few slings remaining, but not really a whole lot. So let's actually try and get you inside. Just do a little bit of damage, perhaps. Maybe even get you over here. Get the slingers in there, too. Make it so this unit fights me specifically. Actually, that's not... Oh, yeah, it did hit him. And they immediately charge through and attack him. Yeah, this unit here, um, I kind of wasted it. I got it killed with range, and that's exactly what it's weak against. So that was definitely a bit of a mistake there. I uh, had their backs turned against the range units, which didn't help. And there goes that unit, so we actually routed with that one. Our axes here actually managed to deal with that unit, which is that one, so let's just go and kill them off. Let's have our axes go probably this way, actually. We've got a good charge in the back of all this stuff, because that's quite a line they've got here now. Alright, our axes managed to get through. Try Your warriors are losing heart. Follow those units, maybe if we can attack a little bit, we get some morale back. Because, yep, there you go, morale's going up again. If they turn around and start firing again, though, we are just going to get ruined immediately. Right, this is all freed up, so let's get them towards the center of the battle. And then get these slingers in the back of all this stuff. Maybe get a volley off before these guys get there. That'd be good. Slingers 
Why don't you help out killing enemy slingers? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, now our unit's against the general, which isn't great. I, won't. I think that one's just gone. This unit is gone as well. They'll, they'll likely survive, but... Warriors are rally. They'll like rally, but I'm not going to do much to them. Maybe some, some support. Alright, you guys have dealt with that. Let's get you over this way. There's a, a point we can capture, and once we do, it'll start ticking down, basically. Okay, this charge should be quite fun. So we'll have a, a wee look at that one, too. Understood. Get our last little bit of volley in there. I love the little dive those units make when they uh, get a charge with a massive two-handed axe. I really like two-handed axe units in Total War games, generally. I just like the idea of them. You imagine that they're incredibly strong. Also, did we kill that general or did he run? I think we may have killed the general. I don't see him anymore. Interesting. Uh, oh no, we lost our rage. I was just about to use the ability, but we lost the rage because we weren't in battle anymore. But we are starting to ride the stuff here, so if I get this on... I don't know, let's do that unit there. That should reduce its morale to zero, which means it'll route. That one routed there. Now we should have a mass route happening here, so that's going to be great. Our axe is there running around, routed. So yeah, it was a one of your units relatively no tough battle, but ammunition. I think we're going to be uh, winning this one pretty of soon. Course. If I can do another ability, we'll have our Aristea um, ability available as well, which is something you can use once per battle. Where's our unique unit, by the way? Or, yeah, that's these guys right here. Okay, so they're, doing warriors are rallying. they're doing fine. They're doing fine. They're doing fine. Let's try and get them back in. Yeah, I don't really want to lose them, though, so we got to be a little bit careful here. I think we're about to see a mass right here. Just kind of waiting. The general's still full health, so that's not great, but... We've broken all this stuff, but this is the problem. Obviously, they're going to come back from routing in a minute, and they're going to be behind my units. Oh, my slingers went in there. I mean, I did send them in there. I'm aware that I did that, but... Let's get you towards the middle and start hitting that general. But yeah, if we can do this real quick... There we go. Now we have our Aristea ability. So I'm going to start attacking him, and I'll use my Aristea ability, which is going to... Give me no cooldowns on my abilities, give me health back per turn, armor, melee, attack, it freezes my stamina, and I'm going to be unbreakable for the duration of it, which is 60 seconds. Um, it's like a, a one-off ability you can use as a general. Any general has it, this guy will have it too. In fact, he... Yeah, he just used it. Um, you can see it around here. So you can see when the bar is full, I'm able to use it. And then when I use it... It will... Uh, Make that bar, like that, the color that was over my portrait go away. Also, this guy is still alive. I just don't, maybe he ran off the field already. Maybe he's back here somewhere. I don't know where he went. Either way, um, I think it's about time we win this, wouldn't you say? Because I'm going to have no time left for my third episode at this rate. Third episode's going to be like 15 minutes long. Maybe I need to push, put this into two episodes after all, but I, I said it was going to be free and it's going to be confusing. Uh, let's do this on you, General himself. And then I'll use that. No, actually, no point using this anymore for no reason. Normally, you want to use abilities because that fills up the Aristea meter. You guys might want to not chase, you know, a single unit with 50 of you. 50,000 of you, more like. 50 million. Gosh. Uh, okay, they're routing. It's just a general now, really, isn't it? That one spearman there. I think there might be some stuff here that came back from routing. No, they're all shattered. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. My warriors, you're back. Go and kill some of these stragglers, would you? Just a... Uh, riddle... Riddle? We, okay, there we go. I was going to say, whittle down their numbers, which will... Cause Victory a, uh, a mass is close here. enough to taste. Well, we got it. Another close victory. I'll take it. Again, you gotta remember though, this is normal difficulty. Um, but, yeah. I don't know what difficulty I'll be playing on. Oh my god, 326 kills on that one unit. I'm not sure what difficulty I'll be playing on yet. Um, because if legendary difficulty is really is going to be stupendously difficult due to... Like, artificial difficulty stuff, I might just play on lower difficulty, like hard or something. I don't know yet. Anyway, got ourselves a town. Uh, we can loot and occupy, but just not occupy normally. And that gives us a full province, which should finish off our mission as well. Didn't actually yet, but I guess I'll do it. it'll do it next turn. Uh, so yeah, that'll be that for now, though. I'm going to leave this episode here, so I have a little bit of time left over for the last one. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, uh, and I'll see you all soon for episode 3 of the Sparta campaign. And then the day after that, we'll be moving on to April. April? Paris. What? What is that? 
Okay, I don't know what the hell... Where did April come from? Anyway, Paris. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.